We're going to start with that breaking news on the peninsula and that verdict in a high profile murder case. Yeah, roughly two hours ago, a verdict was announced in the case of the man accused of killing his estranged girlfriend in San Carlos with a samurai sword. Let's bring in NBC Bay Area's Robert Honda. He's been following the case since the beginning. He joins us from the courthouse in Redwood City with more. Robert. Well, you're right. It was a very fast verdict, but many court observers were not really surprised by that because there was no real argument that uh, Jose Rafael Solano Landetta committed the murder. What was in question was his state of mind. His state of mind was what was in question. Now, the jury began deliberating on Friday for about an hour before resuming this morning, and by the afternoon had decided Landetta was guilty of first-degree murder. Landetta was accused of killing his 27-year-old ex-girlfriend, Karina Castro and also the mother of his child on September 8th of last year by using a samurai sword or as, as to as police said behead Castro during an argument outside her San Carlos apartment. Now the killing was witnessed by a number of people who all testified during the hearing. Castro's defense was originally not guilty by reason of insanity but after several psychiatric examinations the plea was changed to an imperfect self-defense meaning essentially in his mental state he believed he was in in danger from her. Karina's father, Martin Castro Jr., told us he's glad the jury did not agree. Uh, is this going to be easier for your family now to deal with everything in life in general? It might help us actually move on a little bit. Everything's just been on hold. You know, everything has been like, literally frozen in time. I feel like I was at that scene yesterday and I, you know, all the stuff was going on. So, again, just relief. I'm, I can breathe right now. Now, right now, um, uh, Landetta faces uh, a sentence of about 26 years to life. Uh, and uh, right now, the jury uh, has just wrapped up deliberating a little bit more about what they call aggravating factors. Now, those probably won't have a real influence on the judge's decision on what the sentence should be. But uh, it could make a difference on when he might be eligible for parole. His defense attorney, Robert Cummings, told us that uh, he does probably plan to start filing an appeal, but he doesn't know if he'll be the attorney that does it. And he says, though, that right now the jury uh, will decide uh, what kind of sentence he'll get in terms of not so much the length, but whether he might be eligible for parole at 24 and a half years into the sentence or maybe later. So again, that still needs to be resolved. But ultimately, uh, Jose Landetta found guilty of first degree murder today in the killing of Katrina Cast Karina Castro. And uh, there is still more legal maneuvering to be done, but the, for the family, that's the bottom line. Back to you. Okay, thank you very much, Robert.